Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to another Archage Journal. And this time we're doing the walkthrough of Burnt Castle Armory, also known as BCA. It is right here on the tip of the peninsula of Cinderstone Moor. And I'm going to go ahead and do the mentor quest. Uh, Arya is here. Hi Arya, say hi. Type hi in chat. Hi. 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 Yes, there you go. Hi. Uh, she's going to be helping me do the mentor quest. Um, so basically, that is... I'm going to bring up my quest log. Um, yeah, kill Heronius with a mentor. It's the boss. Uh, your mentor has got to be level 31 to 39. So Arya is of the level range, so she fits. Thank you, Arya, for helping me. You guys ready? I'm ready. This is uh, I've got Rallis joining me. This is a five-man dungeon. Uh, but we can run it with three people since we're higher level. <clears throat> but if you're coming here at the appropriate level, it's gonna it can be kind of tough, honestly. In fact, I'm actually going to have to respec uh, once this thing loads up in here. There it goes, it's loading. Because um, if I don't respec, uh, Rallis is going to die on the second boss, I think. Because I will get aggro, and I am not a tank. No, he's he's like a dual-wield DPS person. So I'm just going to swap defense, I guess, for vitalism and pick up my heals. That cost one gold to do, and I need to pick up that move, and then that move, and then that move, and then that move, and then I'll take the res. Oh, man, I've got like, I've got like the bare minimum of healing. I've got the three main heals out of vitalism, but that should be enough. I only really need healing on the second boss anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, so this dungeon, do, do we know the lore behind it? I don't know. Uh, something about a ghost and his father, and yeah, that's We're, about all I know. So when you come in here, what you're going to want to do is uh, crowd control the casters, and DPS down the other stuff, or if you can't crowd control the crafters, you're going to need to DPS them down first. Uh, they do tons of damage. At least to plate wearers like us. Yeah, we have no... My magic defense is 3%. I have like 3% magic defense. It's pretty horrible. I'm at just below 6, which is no, no better. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to pass on everything and let Arya have everything in here. Usually the warlocks tend to be the meanest. The other caster is the Bloodwind Shaman or Shaman or however you prefer to pronounce it. Shaman. And it's Shaman. They uh they they can be annoying too, but the rest of the, the mobs in here are pretty worthless. And then Vex has moves like this that make my life fun. <laughs> it's fun. Fun, especially in PvP. Yeah, actually, that's not be that's not a sarcastic fun. That's an actual fun. All the coin purses ever. Pass, 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 pass. pass. I need a heal. Let's go to my healing tab. Let's say you are the healer. Oh, I didn't mean to use that heal, but that's okay. Well, while you take care of that, I'm going to be continuing to kill stuff. Okay. Yeah, let's get through the here as quick as we can. <clears throat> the audience probably doesn't need to see tons of trash. Well, that's one, this is one thing I like about... Uh, <clears throat> that's one thing I like about Archage is that there's not a ton of trash in the dungeons. And you don't even need my help on that, do you? Oh, no. You maybe need, like, this and then this. You need two skills out of me. Bloop! There you go. I mean, with the exception of the final, I mean, of the middle boss, I could potentially solo this place. Because the, the final boss is a joke. Yeah, the final boss is a joke. The the only really difficult boss in here is what, the second one, you'd say? Yeah, the second one. The first one just isn't susceptible to combos, because none of the bosses are. And he just has a lot of health. He doesn't really do that much. Or at least yeah. it doesn't feel like he does that much. Need to do this, and then this. Boop! Let's 
So the boss is actually right there. Um, Quartermaster of Sorval. This guy's not so hard. I guess while we clear the trash, I'll explain what he does. Um, he just kind of beats on you. And then once he gets to about one-third life, he does this AoE um, Earth and Grip and pulls everybody to him. And he drops barrels down from the ceiling. It's kind of a derpy fight, really. It kind of reminds me of the... Um, Oh, what was that I know, dungeon you're called? Thinking, uh, yeah, you do. You do. You do already. It's the dungeon from WoW with the barrels. In, yeah, um, that was uh, the where you get you get ooked in your duker. Yeah, he's gonna ook you. He's gonna ook all night long. It's the Stormstow Brewery. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, barrels drop down. Anything. Anytime I see barrels, I think of that dungeon. You don't ride them like you do in that game, though. So. Ook it. Well, we lost Rallis. He's dead. He's, he's he's dead, Jim. I don't have a lot in the way of spirit or int, so this is how I get my mana back without having to chug potions or food. It works. That's actually play dead is actually it's in witchcraft, and it's actually a very good way to. It it's kind of like having food. Instead of using food, you just play dead, and you just get all this regen. It also works wonderfully well if you're trying to kill. Uh, red players at the neutral guards because you can just pull them, then play dead, and the guards get and the guards immediately break off. You have never had it fail. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I have stolen many a trade pack, or caused many a trade pack to be stolen with this. Yeah, this the fun. system basically is he shoots the uh, Harani player at the docks. The guards get on him. I get on the player and kill them, and then he feigns death to avoid being killed by the guards, and we get their trade pack. Uh, kind of a fun system. But I do not pity them at all. Because they have the audacity to come to our docks trying to deliver their stuff. How dare they do what they need to do to progress in the game? How dare they do that? The nerve of some players. It will be nice when I get, uh... My these skills to 50 archery, defense, and shadow play. Although I've got vitalism now for healing, but then I can I might I don't know I might go back to uh, my main spec, which is battle rage, vitalism, and something else. Depending I know on my, my vote is for you to do that. Yeah, I'll I think I might I pick up a a third a third trinary of skills and level them to 50 because <clears throat> it does give me something to do in the game at least. And it makes a, you know, better use of my labor XP that I'm getting. I feel bad, man. Dumping like 2,000 labor or something and then... Well, I generally do switch for that, but I just generally stay... But switching costs gold. I don't like that. Eh, doesn't cost that much. Yeah, it does. It's one gold per thing. And then to switch back is another. It's six gold if you switch out all six. So There's this... the first wave of the barrels. Oh, he does a stupid knockdown move where he jumps across the stage, hitting everyone too, but that's not really... A big deal. I guess I will and drop a heal. The only too. status effect this guy can be affected by is Shaken. So if you have moves that uh, combo off of that, you can still do them. But anything else, you're out of luck. Yeah. Bomb arrow, go! If you're farther away, will he not jump to you? Uh, I think he still does. I have been CC'd for so long. I just live CC'd. He's being rude. He needs to hurry up and die. I could do that if I wasn't spending the entire fight on my back on the ground because he's knocking me over with a hammer. <laughs> what do we get? Bone splitter bow? Okay, you guys can have all that. I don't... The loot in here is not, unfortunately, very valuable. If you get orange quality stuff, it generally sells well, but past that, it's unfortunately not too too profitable on the auction house in most cases. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you get, like, maybe if you get a blue quality, you could look into it, or purple. But, like, if you get a green, it's not going to be worth much. Well, anyway, we'll be right back while we get our mana back. So, see you guys in a second. And we're back, all healed and manned up 
and ready to continue clearing this trash. Let's do this. I saw you I, doing the crowd control. Yeah, and you did the explosive arrow. And you saw me doing the explosive arrow. Not that we need it on this bull. Dude, uh, man, dude man is back here just like smack. Oh no, dude man, stop. Dude man, peace. Peace. Stop. I like you know, the way Drift looks in this game. It just makes it look funny when they fall over on their face. You know, without defense, with the health regen and the health lift moves, he was actually kind of hurting me. Well, again, part of your armor still, unfortunately, is the Hazl armor, which is not known for defense. No, no. I've got all the visual pieces of, uh, I want to call it Tier 1. It's Tier 6. It's the first sealed set, so nobody cares. Um, yeah, it's Tier 6. But... That's the, the, most people in the chat channels refer to it correctly. All right. Well, I just don't care about the the other, like, previous. Where is this dude going? I feared him. Oh. So, you know, you shot him to break it. I'm going to shoot him to break his life buff. That gets the life buff off of him. He, he lost it, see? But generally speaking, the fear is over three seconds, then followed by a two-second stun, but it breaks if you shoot them, so... I do that to not have to deal with more multiple guys. Multiple simultaneous guys. No, it is they who will die. Bloop. Wow. I like fighting the casters. They have no physical defense. Precision strike really hurts them. Yeah, it does. Are the ogres more durable than the other ones? They don't feel like it. The only durable trash mob in here is the fighters. Oh, yeah, they take a while to go down. Because they have, like, shields and do defensive moves and other stuff that annoys me because it makes me take longer to kill them. The nerve of them trying to live. Yeah. Whack! They should know I, I like how I still have aggro when I'm just auto attacking with this my Hazla club. Neuralis and I have basically full Hazla gear, Hazla weapons, I guess. Yeah, all my weapon slots are full of Hazla stuff. That's a fun party over there. That's a lot of warlocks. It is. Well, let's, that's let's an interesting. Group first, since it's coming over here. That's an interesting pull. I like that root move. I like when I can shackle, silence, and ensnare them all at once, and they just stand there while we hit them. Because it doesn't stun them, so they can run around, they just stand there. On the Warlock Flame move, it's actually a skill shot they're doing, and you can dodge it if you run run side to side. Let's kill this last guy. Is he going to do his... Yeah, he's summoning the... This can be a pain in the butt if you're pulling and you don't notice he's doing this. Um, these these are basically like bombs, I think. They'll blow up on you. Uh, yeah, like that. If they're if you're already in a fight and you don't notice he's doing that move, uh, that can kill. That can get you kind of your group kind of screwed over. Because it uh, having those things blow up on you right in the middle of a pull is, is kind of rough. So for this fight, I'm probably just going to do nothing but heal. Um, this boss does a lot of damage. He does a... Uh, he does a, he's got a few moves. He does. He's got this meteor move where he summons meteors out of the sky to blow you up. Um, this fight is very rough if you have uh, a lot of melee people and no, no ranged people. Because all the melee people have to group up on the boss to melee them. 
And they're just going to eat the meteors and get wrecked by them. That's why I need a healer. Because and... he'll do a snare move that makes it so I can't get away from the meteors, and then the meteors hit me for like over 2,000 because, again, 6% magic resistance doesn't really help too much. Yep, and oftentimes melee people are wearing plate. Plate has no ma magic mitigation, so this boss is just like, let me snare you while you try to melee me and then do tons of magic damage to you. And if you come in here with leather, then he does a couple melee moves like a whirlwind. That's going to really hurt you if you're in leather because you don't have quite as much physical defense. So he he can hurt you generally regardless of whatever you're wearing. Yep. The other thing he does is he summons exploding sparks that the healers and ranged DPS need to just not stand in. Um, pretty simple boss mechanics. You don't stand in don't stand in the fire. That's that's pretty much it. it only it's this time don't stand in the sparks. Don't stand in the sparks. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if you're if you're coming here and you don't have any like level 50s to help you out, and you're coming here at like in the you know low 30s or something, you really like if your group has nothing but melee DPS, this fight is going to be rough. Yeah, you have to pay a lot. You have to pay very close attention to him, or he can wipe you. Yeah, we learned this the hard way. All right, I'm ready. All right, get him, get him, get him. There, there's the sparks. I'm going to dodge the sparks. I'm going to do my full opening rotation to them. And then I'm going to stop because, yeah, you're already... So there's one heal for 3,000. So there's 3,000 HP. Let's drop another heal for another 2,600. This boss is also immune to any and all status effects aside from Shaken. 5,600... Let's just wait again. Here come the meteors. Yeah, see, look oh. at his health. Did you see that? That was one ra wave of them. That was two. Hey, Arya, can you get that uh, that fire elemental? See, that time I managed to avoid them, but it's really feels like luck because again, I'm I'm constantly to have this daze effect on me that prevents me from moving with anything resembling speed. Yeah, you would have been dead about two times over by now, I'd say. I mean, and I could be helping by chugging potions, but why when you can just spec healer? Yeah, I've done one, two, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand. Um, I'm trying to keep track. I've kind of lost track, though. People watching the video will probably know better than me. But, uh... I know I've put over 20,000 20, 20, HP worth of healing into you. I almost feel like this boss should have been the final one. Yeah, he's actually challenging. Now see, that might sell for some money. Yep. In fact, it most likely will. Who got it? That would be me. Oh. The person that has a lot of money, so I'll probably just give it away. Uh -huh. So here's here's his slow debuff. If you want to see it, you know this is how this is how fast I get to run while fighting him. Yeah, that's rough. So I can't dodge meteors. That's 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 rough. Let's do this. So this is like the final boss's dead son, who's a ghost, and we're about to go fight the uh, the Reaper from Sword Art Online. And what we really need, what you really want to do on this uh, boss fight is, you have to watch the cutscene twice. Why does it do that? Um, but what you really need to do on this fight is you need to go find a mysterious little girl out in the woods, and you need to bring her to this boss and let her go up to it <clears throat> and get hit by it, and then a mortal object will pop up over her head, and then she'll just, like, wreck the boss with, you know, AI That's powers. It's about ten times the size of her. Yeah. Yep. We really like Sword Art Online. The thing is, I don't even think that thing was a boss. They didn't say it was a boss. No, it wasn't a boss. It was just some random thing that was totally OP, and how would you ever, like, beat that? We don't even, I don't even, I'm not even going to need to heal you. No, this you, boss. you shouldn't. Okay, so this boss does, uh, he does other stuff, but it's so stupidly easy that I don't even want to mention it. Um, He will summon some ads later on. But all this guy does, you just wail on him, 
Then he'll start doing a banshee wail type thing, and his ghostly son will appear and summon a shield. And you get in the shield, and if you don't get in the shield, you die. And if you do get in the shield, you win. That's basically it. Yeah, the ads he summons are other versions of the mobs from this dungeon, so the casters can hurt, but yeah. they all have about 2 HP, so nah, that's an exaggeration, but they're all very weak, so they go down very easily. And he has nowhere near the amount of health or resistance that the either of the other two bosses had. Yeah, he's going to drop like a rock. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, Arya's playing on a toaster, so or possibly a potato. And even his meteor shower does not hit as hard as the other bosses, and there's no daze effect with it, so it's easier to dodge. There's the sun. Hey, Arya, you're in luck. It summoned it, like, right beside you, so you won't die. And the comical thing about this is he only does that move once. Yeah, he only does that move once, and you can keep shooting at him while he's... Like, look at this. I haven't even healed Rallus yet. And let's look at Lyra, his health. Like I have not popped my defensive cooldown either, so... You haven't popped a potion either. No. In fact, I'm don't. Not. let's not heal at all. And okay. He's dead. He's dead. Where's I was HP? just... I was just above half. So he got... Yeah. So that entire time with no healing... He only hit you for maybe 6,000 HP and, and damage. Like, this this boss is a joke. It, like, af especially after the th second boss. Bloop. Alright, so what you do once you come in here, it's the same thing as other mentors. The, men the mentor opens the ch chest. Yeah, you get him. You get him. Can this kick work? Can we kick this guy? I do not recall. Yeah! 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 Ha <laughs> ha! Screw and you, boss. And now he's gone. And now he's gone. I kicked him to death. Okay, so I clicked the chest, and now Arya comes and clicks the chest. Because the mentor system is, like, that's how you got to do it. Then I click it, and then, there we go. That's three guilder for me. Click it. Click it. And now I have, um, what's this thing? Oh, green, so it's going to, like, I'm, yeah. I'm probably going to end up vendoring that, maybe. Or actually, uh, well, actually, wait, I might disenchant it, since it's a uh, world drop and not a dungeon drop. That's actually probably what I'm going to do with it. Well, anyway, that is Burnt Castle. Oh. Yeah, you could for 60 Gilda. You could buy a thatched farmhouse and then have nowhere to put it, because all the land's filled up. <laughs> I've got well, that strong. New land is going to open on the fourth, supposedly. Yeah, fourth of November, two thousand fourteen, for you guys watching this video like three years from now. Um, it's October in twenty fourteen now, and uh, Aurora is going to open, which is that continent up there, because it's closed right now. We can't go to it, and Diamond Shores is a housing zone, and it peaceful will housing on the zone apparently. Yeah, like. Within 24 hours, all that land is going to go and be I don't gone. even think it's going to take 24 hours. but that's It's going to take, like, six hours, if that. Like, as soon as... Like, I've met people who've said they have, like, over 10 house designs on them. And they're ready... And they've got, like, 5,000 tax certificates saved up. I'm not even joking. And, they're, like, their plan is to go out there and just place everything they can. And snatch up all the land. Which I think is really lame. I, smart. <laughs> it's smart, but I almost wish there was a hard limit... Like, the taxes would go up to a certain point, and then at, at that point, like, say maybe five or six properties, you just can't place anything else. Like, you try to place in a box that comes up and says, no, stop. Please, stop. stop. Let, some, let stop. someone else have some room. Yeah. I mean, you'll get eaten alive on taxes with six properties. I can't even imagine, like, the people that are going to place ten or more... Like, they're going to have to sell that so fast. Yeah, because... well, they're, they're, I assume that's their intention. Yeah. I'm honestly debating buying a manor design and trying to be there on the 4th to get it just so I could turn it around and sell it. But that well, would be one. I've got, I mean, I've got a house and, yeah, I've got a thatched farmhouse and a 16 by 16 house. I'll plant both of those if I can and try and sell them. So, I mean, I'm maybe I shouldn't be it. too critical, but it's... Get crazy with 10 of them, but I might try one. Yeah, dropping like dropping one or two is whatever, but actually I think the guy I talked to had sixteen. And he was gonna go out there and try to drop sixteen houses down. Like one person with sixteen houses. 
Like, get dude. Dude, please. What are you doing? Dude, please. Trying to make money. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Rude. Rude. Sir, rude. Alright, anyway, we'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. This dungeon's not so bad. Just watch out for that second boss. And we'll see you next time. Until then, as always, take it easy.